you go, even kids. Coming up later, Boys in the Hood, about young Americans at a turning point in their lives. And coming up next, an FBI agent goes surfing in a thriller named Point Break. I think taxpayers would like it, Utah, if they knew that they were paying a federal agent to surf and pick up girls. Babes. Okay, hot shot. You want to nail the bank robbers and be a big hero? Definitely. The ex-presidents are surfers. Whoa! A rookie FBI agent goes undercover as a surfer to break up a gang of bank robbers who wear rubber masks in order to disguise themselves as ex-presidents of the United States. Now, just describing the plot of Point Break like that makes it sound like a parody of itself, like Naked Gun 3 and a half or something, but this is a surprisingly intelligent and effective thriller starring Keanu Reeves as the new guy in the bureau and Gary Busey as his partner. It's Busey who has the theory the bank robbers may be surfers, and before long, Reeves is a friend of some of them, including their leader, a mystical homegrown philosopher played by Patrick Swayze. Everything moves in cycles. So twice a century, the ocean lets us know just how small we really are. A winter storm comes out of Antarctica, tearing up the Pacific, and it sends a huge swell north 2,000 miles. And when it hits Bell's Beach, It'll turn into the biggest surf this planet has ever seen, and I will be there. Reeves is easily seduced by the Southern California surfer lifestyle and also by Swayze's ex-girlfriend, the surfer played by Lori Petty. I saw it in that tree. I like it. Watch yourself. She's a wild one. Make yourself at home with mine is yours. The movie has a lot of unexpected action in it, including this tense moment when the agent's cover has been blown and the man he's after has forced him to go skydiving. Who packed my shoes? I did what? You don't trust me? You gotta earn trust. Okay, we'll earn it together. Here, take mine. Point Break was directed by Catherine Bigelow, who made the Jamie Lee Curtis cop thriller Blue Steel a year ago, and who has a genuine sense of style that she brings to hard-boiled subject matter. What's interesting about Point Break is that it's not just a thriller about cops and robbers. It's about a young agent who is impressed by the worldview of a possible robber and who is forced to rethink his whole value system. At the same time, the movie contains terrific action sequences, including a chase scene on foot through the back streets of Santa Monica and a struggle in the skies between a man who has a parachute and another man who has a gun. Now that was really a good scene. I like this movie. The action scenes are, are very good. My problem with the picture is that so much of it is very good, and a lot of it, I think, has problems. Uh, overstuffed. And I'll give you an example. The guys, uh, the bank robbers, right at the beginning, do wear the mask of the S president. So you've got Nixon and Ford and Carter and Reagan and all this. And that's, that's okay. But then they start spouting uh, Reaganisms, Nixonisms, and I thought, oh, come on. Now, that's an extra thing. Let me, let me keep going No, here because they don't want to give away their real voices when they're rob robbing the bank. No, no, so no, they... no, no. They're doing it in their voices, but they're mimicking these guys. Let me, let me just try to go. The movie then, I think, runs on past a couple of endings. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the surfer guys, I think, it, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's over stuff. No, no, no. I, I know what you're talking about when you say that it has an extra ending. I love the extra ending. I would have hated it if it had ended at the obvious point. I don't want the it to end in The scene in Australia obvious. that you don't like, the last inning, that's the point of the whole movie. It's the no. point of the whole character, is that he has this relationship I know with that. danger no, 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 and no, no. with the sea and with his life. Okay. And it has to have that ending. That one I don't mind as much as about two other in b before it that are fake-like endings. Oh. I also don't like the... I also can figure out... I don't want to give too much away. I can figure out a, a, a fake left when I know the movie is going right. I'm sure you could, too. Um, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But it's a it's not... very good thriller. It makes a big effort to make these it characters does, it, different from other characters and other thrillers. It makes, it's not just a carbon copy it, cop buddy. It is, not, it is not that bad. I can't recommend it because I think that the picture needed to be tightened People up. People will have a hard time finding a more entertaining thriller this summer. Terminator 2 is really Well, easy. after they found that, then <laughs> if they want to find another one, they have to find this one. Coming up next, <laughs> Boys in the Hood. The